Welcome to this Franklin Public Schools screencast. This screencast is going to show you some different ways to save emails off GroupWise. As you know, over this summer we're going to be switching to a new email platform. I'm going to show you some quick ways to save emails if you desperately need to save them. Uh, what I've done here in my email box is first I was going through my emails and I found some that I did want to save. So I set up an emails to save folder in my cabinet. If you're organizing your information this is, to do this, you simply click on the cabinet go up to file choose new and make a folder from that list new folder and then you can make it a personal folder click next give it a name and it'll pop up in your cabinet area so as I was going through my emails I found emails that I wanted to keep and I drag them to my emails to save folder so that I get hopefully just a small handful of emails that I that I want to end up eventually saving off the first and best way to save the emails is to forward them to a personal email account. So again, you won't want to do this. This this you have to do email by email. So you won't want to do this for a, a lot of emails. But if there's something you desperately need to save, you can forward it to another email account. To do that, you simply click on the email you want to forward, and then click this forward button, and you forward the email just like you forward any other email. You type in the address you want to send it to, and click send, and it'll send the message to that email account. So you'll at least have the email. If it is an email that has a file attachment in it, as many of these do, you might want to ask yourself if you really need to save the email or if you just need to save the file that is in the email. If you just need to save the file that is in the email, you can get to the attachment and right click or control click on it and choose save as so that the file will then save somewhere on your computer. The other way you can save an email off, and I already created a folder over here on my desktop just called emails to keep. You can make a folder and actually drag messages out of GroupWise into that folder. So let's say I want to take uh, this folder right here that has some smart board information in it that I need. I can click and drag and drop this over into the emails to keep folder. If you have a folder or a bunch in a row of this, of, of emails that you want to keep, you can click on the first one hold down the shift key and click on the last one which will select or group select all of those choices then you can click and hold the mouse cursor and drag those over to the emails to keep and it will do you'll see here there's a little copy window uh, it'll do all of those emails at once so now when I go in here there are a bunch of files and they all end in most of them end in .eml a .eml file uh, to open that in the future you'd have to open it with the program that's on our laptop called text editor so to do that you can right click on the message or control click on the message highlight open with and if text editor does not show up in the list of choices you can click other and when other is chosen it shows you the applications area and you'd have to scroll down and look for the text editor program so if I go under the T's down at the bottom and I choose text edit open the message it will open it and it's just text there's a lot of different code and stuff at the top but the actual message part is here so you can do you can save messages off that way again the best way probably is just to forward them to another email account so you don't have to go through all this work and again only with the email messages you desperately need to keep uh, if there's nothing you need to keep it's all going to get wiped out over the summer anyway so hopefully that helps let your tech coach know if you have any questions and thanks for watching